In the months since the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade, the LA Times reports the number of women requesting sterilization to avoid pregnancy is rising. NBC News Now anchor Morgan Radford traveled to a clinic in Texas that's seen an increase in requests. Morgan, this is extraordinary. You spoke with some women. What did they tell you? There's so many different things happening right now, so many different repercussions, Lindsay, happening in the wake of Roe v. Wade being overturned. I mean, we've seen a demand surge for the morning after pill. We've seen more women asking about getting IUDs. Well, now there's new evidence that more women across the country are seeking out a more permanent option, sterilization. In fact, we spoke with three women who say the timing is, without a doubt, tied directly to state abortion laws and to the Supreme Court. Here at Women's Health Domain, a clinic in Austin, Texas, Good morning, Mayor Dr. Tyler Hancock says his team has been fielding more calls than ever. They're asking for permanent sterilization. So permanent sterilization, tubes removed. Yes. All since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, ending the nationwide right to abortion. They want something permanent because they fear that tomorrow there'll be no other option. How many were calling before versus after that Supreme Court decision? One to two a week would be average. The weekend following, there were 200 messages by Sunday night. Since this is an afternoon. In fact, he says he's received so many requests asking for permanent sterilization that he and the practice's co-owner, Dr. Amy Chapman, hold weekly group information sessions. I mean, how many people are in this room? A little over 20 at a time. Per session. Per session. How are you today? Good, how are you? A decision 27-year-old Brooklyn McNair, who's pregnant with her fourth child, says she's planning to make soon, influenced by the Supreme Court ruling. I don't want any more. I'll be 27 in October, and I'm just done. You're done? I'm done. So are you for sure that sterilization is something that you want to do or just something you want to learn more about? I think it's for something for sure I want to do. And she's not alone. Google searches for sterilization procedures surged by as much as 200% after the Supreme Court decision. And membership in some Facebook support groups for women seeking the procedures has nearly doubled, with one group growing by 2,500 members since the ruling came down. Being able Groups to Megan Salon and Ashley Ball both joined. So, Megan, you already had your tubes removed. Yes. And, Ashley, you're about to begin the procedure? Uh, yeah, I'm in the process of consultations. What was behind the timing of when you decided to have this procedure? After the draft decision was leaked, um, I decided to uh, schedule the procedure sooner than I had originally anticipated. What was it about that leak that made you say, I'm going to do something for myself now? Well, I've always known I ha like didn't want children, and I didn't want to be in a position where I didn't want children and would lack access to contraception as well. So. Like Megan, I have always known that I didn't want kids. And when we started seeing more of the restrictions coming through, that's when I scheduled my first consultation appointment. They say others like them are often dismissed by doctors who are reluctant to perform the procedure. You're told that you are too young to make this decision or what if your significant other wants children someday? What if you and change your mind? What if you change your mind? Um, what if you regret this someday? It's Let's be honest, there's a lot of judgment around the decision to have this procedure, around this decision in general. Right. What do you say to people who don't understand? Sterilization or permanent contraception is just as permanent as choosing to have a child, right? So a lot of the arguments against it, like, well, what if you regret it? You could say the same thing about having a kid. It's a choice they expect to see even more women making in the days ahead. Nobody wants to be put in a situation where they have to make um, a choice between, you know, the medical health of whoever is having that kid and the kid itself. So a lot of people are just saying, okay, we're not <laughs> going to. We're going to go for sterilization instead. So the question a lot of people have now is what comes next? While the Supreme Court decision did not address the issue of contraception, in this recent Dobbs ruling, Justice Clarence Thomas did bring up the issue in his concurring opinion. And that has a lot of people worried about the future of access to contraception more broadly. And to be clear, this is not just a trend we're seeing among women. Daily searches for vasectomy clinics increased 110 percent after June 24th, which is when the Supreme Court decision came down, reaching an all-time high, according According to Google Trends data. In fact, the most popular searches for both forms of sterilization, so tubal ligation and vasectomies, were in states like Ohio, Missouri, and Indiana, all places with current or even likely bans on abortion, Lindsay. So interesting that they're seeing jumps in those community groups, people just looking for some support and people to talk to in the wake of this. And doctors to perform the procedure. Yeah. Morgan, thanks so much. Of course.